Yo, what's going on guys? It is Kevdog here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you every single new Pokemon in the DLC that is shiny locked. I don't know why they keep doing this, because it's 2023. We all hate when Game Freak shiny locks Pokemon, but they still do it. But hey, there's nothing we can really do about it but complain. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, then definitely subscribe and comment down below what your favorite new shiny locked Pokemon is. Which one you want the most? I saw some of them already, because some of them leaked online early, but I'm not gonna mention any spoilers. Let's just get right into the video. Okay, so if I open up my PC, box i should have all the pokemon ready right here yeah there we go this right here is every new shiny locked pokemon we have the blood moon ursa luna and then the loyal three being monkey dory fezzendipity and okie dogie and then ogre pawn and all of its other forms i guess there aren't too many pokemon but i mean come on it would have been so cool if we could have shiny hunted the loyal three or the ursa luna for example i kind of understand why we couldn't because of story reasons but eh, whatever i'll show you guys every pokemon in the pc boxes and then we'll go into the overworld to take a look starting off with ursa luna let's see how it looks looks. Ooh, what the heck? It's all orange and oh my gosh, that's actually really cool. I'll put a picture up on screen. If I remember correctly, the regular Ursa Luna shiny is kind of red. It's not that orange. At least this is not a direct ripoff of the normal Ursa Luna for the shiny. That's good. But what about Monkey Dory? And oh, oh my gosh, that sucks. The normal one has black fur. They really just turn that gray and call it good. That's pretty disappointing, actually. I'm not a big fan of Monkey Dory shiny. Actually, I'll look at each Pokemon in their summary and then also in the PC and in the overworld. Okay, Ursa Luna, yeah, this looks pretty cool in here. That Monkey Dory, though, that really sucks. I wish it had a better shiny. It just turned gray. Nah, whatever. It's not like I could get it legitimately anyway. But what about Fezendipity? I think I saw the leaks for this one. Yeah, that one's actually really cool. See, that would've been cool for Monkey Dory. Just turn the black part blue. That's what they did for this. It's like a bluish purple color. That looks really good. I don't know which one of these I like more, Fezendipity or this Ursa Luna. I think it might be the Ursa Luna, just by a little bit. If I remember correctly, Okie Dogie is orange, and yeah, what the heck? It's like a weird orangish brown color. I really don't know what to feel about this one. I think it's a good shiny, but not my favorite. Let me go into the summary area. I forgot to do that for Fezendipity. Here's Okie Dogie. Yeah, this would be cool to find as a shiny, but it wouldn't really make sense with the story. It would be weird if throughout the whole story we saw it normally, and then right when we walk up to battle, suddenly it's orange. That'd be kind of weird. Okay, next up we got Ogre Pond, and I think, yeah, all they really do with this one is change the face from orange to green. It's kind of disappointing, because I'm pretty sure they do this with every single one. I'm gonna go down to the blue version, yeah, it's just the same thing. I mean, I guess if that's all they did with the first one, what can I expect with the others? But I mean, this red one, for example, this would look so much cooler if they changed more than just that. It's like, obviously, this doesn't look horrible, but I just wish it was a little better. I wish they did more than just change the face to green. I just filled up my party with all the new Pokemon, and we're actually gonna go back into the Paldea region, and here's why. Okay, we're back in Paldea, and it is nighttime, and I heard that if it's nighttime in Kitakami, it will be daytime here, so I guess that wasn't true. Also, ignore the fact that every Every single Pokemon here is shiny, it's because I had to use a shiny cheat to get all these shiny lock Pokemon. So that's why, yeah, this. Just ignore all that. But we're gonna go over here and check out the Pokemon in the overworld. I guess it doesn't matter too much that it's night. Uh, I think I changed my mind. I'm gonna switch it back to day. Okay, that should be better. It's daytime now so I could actually see. And here's Ursa Luna, Blood Moon, and yeah, that looks pretty good. I definitely like the orange on this. I think it's better than the regular Ursa Luna, how they made it red. But what do you guys think? You can let me know down in the comments below. If I had to rate the new Ursa Luna, I'm gonna gonna give it like an 8.2 out of 10. I don't really know what else they could do to improve it, but it's not my favorite. 8.2 out of 10. That's not too bad. And we're gonna move on to Fezandipity. I'm really curious on how big this guy is. I never actually threw one out in the overworld, and it's pretty much the size of your trainer. I think I'd be a little taller if it was actually on the ground. Hey, there we go. We got it on the ground. I like this Pokemon because of the bluish purple color they gave it. It's better than the black fur to me. As for the main fur, it's a pretty big change to the skin, but overall, it feels pretty subtle because the rest of the shiny is actually not changed really at all. I guess for Fezendipity, I'll give it like a, maybe like a 7 out of 10. I can't really give it anything higher than that. It's a little too subtle of a shiny. And now he is dead asleep. So we're going to move on to the next one, Okie Dogie. This one, I can see a lot of people loving this and a lot of people not liking it too much. This might be a weird comparison, but the color of this almost reminds me like the old Minecraft leather armor. I'll put a pic on screen for comparisons. Okie Dogie somehow knocked himself out. I looked away for a few seconds. I don't really know what happened, but this shiny, in my opinion, looks worse in the overworld than in the PC boxes. Like for example, if I open up my summary right now and look at the orange color, I think it looks pretty good in here, but in the overworld, 
but looks kind of washed out. I don't know. It's not too bad. I think it's around equal, maybe a little bit better than the Fezantipity. I'm going to give it like a 7.5 out of 10. Overall so far, I think I'm still going to give the win to Ursaluna, but hey, maybe I'll change my mind on Ogre Pond. Eh, that's not happening. Next is Monkey Dory, and I could barely even tell looking at it right now that it's a shiny. If I wasn't thinking about it being shiny, I may not ever notice. I feel like you could probably take a picture of him just like this and nobody would ever question. Hey, is that a shiny? No one would say that. I think purely for the fact that I like the original better than the shiny version means I have to give it a really low score. So I'm going to give it like a three and a half out of 10. I know that sounds harsh, but I mean, the original I think is better. So I can't really give this too high of a score. And he went to bed. Last up is Ogre Pond and still the only difference is the face. So there's not really much for me to talk about with the shinies. She's taking a snooze on the ground and I really don't know what to give it for a scoring. I think I'll give the shiny like a five out of 10 because I don't really think it's better or worse whether it be shiny or non-shiny. I think they're both equally as cool. I'm pretty sure I gave Ursa Luna an 8 out of 10, and I guess Ursa Luna, you are the winner. I'm pretty curious for how you guys rate the new DLC shinies that are shiny locked, so if you can, let me know in the comments down below your ratings. Do you guys think the new Ursa Luna has a good shiny, or Fezandipity, Ogie Dogie, and all the rest? Let me know your favorites down below, and that's gonna be about it for this video. If you enjoyed, then definitely subscribe, because I'm trying to make it up to 60,000 subscribers with the new DLC content. That's about it for me, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace out, everyone.